My mother was dreaming that I will be a great person. She became pregnant with her seventh child when I was 11 years old. As her stomach swelled, she felt weakness and pain. But she said, no problem, Hawa. Everything will be okay. Whether it comes to us through violence, disease, or even childbirth, death is not the end of our story. You have to get up and help someone who needs you. I became a doctor because I wanted to save others from feeling the pain I felt when my mother died. The Somalia I grew up in was so much different than today. Mogadishu was the best place in all Africa. In the rural area, children had fresh milk, fresh meat, fresh air. Life was very beautiful, very simple, and very peaceful. It started to go bad in 1988, when the government collapsed. More and more people come to us to escape the fighting. The Somali people have tradition of hospitality. When a traveler comes to you, you have to give him the best of what you have. It seems only natural that the problems we could solve, like giving someone a place to stay and the feeling of safety should be solved. When the space became full, family began to sleep under the trees. After more than 20 years, it became 90,000 people. These people have become my family. Here we are all Somali. If you want to identify with your clan, you cannot stay. In time, my children become doctors, and now we work together. Each crisis we face gives way to the next as a new group takes control of our area. Sometimes these children, with their guns, they told me, you are an old woman, you cannot be in church. I said, and you are a strong young man. What have you done for these people? Whether to fighting or famine, we have lost as many as 50 people per day. But we get up, we go on, and we help someone who needs us. Today, our one-room clinic is a 400 beds hospital. I live for the hope that peace will come, that my children and my grandchildren will someday know that Somali I loved. Until that time, they can build on what I have started. I am Dr. Hawa Abdi. This is my vital voice. Now, raise yours.